Hey guys, for a while I've wondered how to make small monkey fists that could be used as zipper pulls and keychains. I found a helpful video from GT Lanson and I've modified it in a way that I could use it to make a paracord keychain using something that resembles a monkey fist but is a lot easier to make. What I'm going to do is take a piece of cord and I'm going to leave some cord on the left, about half a foot to a foot, which will be used to attach the knot to a key ring. And with the right hand, I'm going to start tying this Turk's head, which resembles a monkey's fist. So first I'm going to make a loop. Then I'm going to place my working end over it, take the end and pass it behind the standing end, then again with my working end I am going to weave it through going under, over, under. With this simple sequence done, we've tied the knot that we need. This is how it looks like, so it will be a lot easier for you to recognize that you're on the right path. And now I'm going to double it up by simply following the standing end through the entire knot. I'm going to do the rest of this off camera to keep this video a bit shorter and I'll be back once I've done this. Okay guys, I've doubled up this knot and now I'm going to pass my working cord through the knot where the standing end and the working end are basically coming into the knot. So at this point we would we could begin tripling but we're instead going through to the other side to finish this knot and now we're going to make a half hitch here which will serve as the core for our knot. With this done all there's left to do is to form the knot around this core, which is done by simply folding it over and then removing the slack from it. Just a quick tip on tightening this knot. As I mentioned, you need to form your not around the half hitch, but what should be also said is that you should start tightening it up and removing the slack at the working end and work your way through so you can pull out the slack through the standing end. Once you've done this, you get a nice looking spherical knot that looks like a monkey fist. And now we need to finish it up. I like to finish using only one cord, so I would snip the other. And I'm going to feed my working end through a key ring that I will be using. Then I will wrap my cord around itself. I will do a few wraps, usually four. And then I'm going to insert my working end through these wraps to finish it off. Once 
once you tighten this you have your keychain ready and this is a nice little use you can have for smaller pieces of cord thank you for joining me in making this little keychain i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and it proves useful see you next time Thank you.